Okay, so you're a Sag Sun, Libra rising, and Pisces moon. But what phase of the moon were you born under? That's the part of the soul path that is invaluable. Steve Forrest explains the eight-phase system he developed in the Book of the Moon. The audiobook is out. You don't need any charts to understand it. It's available on Audible with no subscription necessary or on Apple Books. Happy Tuesday to you from the new booth. Well, not the new booth, but <laughs> this booth where I record everything when I'm at home anyway, the podcasts and the audiobooks and the meditations and everything, got a new brain yesterday or between our last episode and this episode. I had a wonderful MacBook Pro computer driving this thing all this time, and it has done so, so well. And it was starting to gasp. <laughs> so I wanted to save it for as much as I still could. And so it's resting now peacefully and it will be put to good purpose on doing something else. So we have a new commander in the booth now. Hey, do you know we talked about most everything yesterday? I mean, we covered a lot of ground yesterday. Today we have that moon moving out of Leo into Virgo. That happens at 947 this morning. The void, of course, before that, Eastern time, by the way, <laughs> if you're taking, what time, what time zone? Eastern, always here. And then uh, that's a seven hour and 44 minute void, of course, before it that ends in a square between the moon and Uranus, which happened already early this morning. So that's in the books already. All we have to do is get the moon over into Virgo and you will do what I did and organize your booth, too. I didn't do the wires. Maybe I should do the wires today. That would be a good project. Do the wires today, Thomas. Aye, aye, yes, sir. Okay, the next aspect today is all the way fast forward to dinner time, 6.03 p.m. That is Jupiter and the nodes of the moon. Sextile to the north node, trine to the south node. You know, I just noticed something here that is worthy of note. I was looking at when the lunar nodes change signs next. Now that will be moving from Aries into Pisces for the north node, from Libra into Virgo for the south node. Guess the date. Well, it's not January 20th. It's January 28th next year. So that means the north node, basically during the election, during all that stuff in the fall, is going to be in the early degrees of Aries, South Node will be in the early degrees of Libra, and right there we'll make this switch to Pisces Virgo. What does that mean? Well, just think about Aries with all the conflict. When all that stuff is happening, the nodes will be right on the cusp, which makes them, you should know this if you're a regular listener, more powerful. Exactly, and that's on top of everything else. Here is what I like about this and what I really appreciate about the separation of timelines and the paths that we can choose. Because today you have Jupiter aspecting our karmic path, basically, the nodes of the moon, very positively. So the south node trine, that means we can go back into our past on favorable ground and take a look at those areas that didn't serve us. Bring them out, and if we want to make some positive steps toward the higher timeline, this is a perfect day to do that. And you know, for most people out there, except for the few of you who listen to this podcast, will miss it completely. Could it be earth-shattering? Eh, probably not. But it could be developmentally super positive. Like, by the time you go to bed tonight, if you follow this through and something shows up that's really cool... You could have a really big smile on your face and just feel like the day was well spent. I feel so sorry for folks that are not conscious. I've got a friend who called uh, recently and said that he was in some trouble, and he was. I've been standing for him to wake up for a long time. The waves just keep coming in. Maybe one day he'll stop and take a look at it from a different lens. But if you listen to this, you probably do look at things through a different lens. So use the expansion characteristics and the favorable characteristics of Jupiter and see if you can't move your karmic needle forward a bump. Won't take tomorrow's thunder too much, but the only aspect tomorrow is late in the evening, 1104 Eastern, the Sun and Saturn are in a trine aspect with each other. So that almost plays into this Jupiter node relationship. If you wanted to play with this, it really is about doing some very positive internal. This is about you and me. This is about us individually. 
getting with our higher self, seeing what messages are there, and bringing them to the surface. The positive side of Saturn loves it when we do that. And you've got the Sun and Jupiter on your side. Let's do a keyword for today, but only for high timeline players. If you're really not playing, or if you're only playing a facade, this isn't going to work. But for the high timeline players, today's keyword is going to be karmic points. <laughs> you can rack some up today, embed them for basically shifting your paradigm so that you see things differently. Saturn. I hope this helps, and I hope you'll choose the high side always. Come on the journey. It's a lot of fun to live with your eyes wide open. Hope you have a great Tuesday. Love you so much. Mwah. I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye-bye.